Dear Jess, today Pete's Pan's local cookery report comes from the river Erjas in Spain, or Eujas in Portugal. Either will do as this river, for a long stretch, provides the borderline between the two countries. And that international leap takes me an hour back in time. I'm actually here to cook this Spanish frite, the wonderful local lamb stew. So a visit to the butcher in the nearby town of Alcantara. You know, the one with the tallest Roman road bridge in the world and the origin of the consomme soup. If you missed all that, click right here. Here I'm being informed that this lamb is the best in the country, from Extremadura. Cordero, el mejor cordero que puedes comer, el cordero corderé. Vale. Extremadura. As with most local recipes, there are as many versions as there are cooks. But having learnt not to put my trust in glossy cookbooks, I head to the nearby market of Zarta la Mayor to make some inquiries to see what the general consensus on the frite is. Ah, this doesn't look very promising. Chorizo rojo. Getting warmer now. What is the difference? It has pimenton. This one no. This one has pimenton picante. How do you make the frite? This lady informs me that she doesn't cook. Yet then gives me a detailed explanation of all the procedures. Go figure, must be common knowledge around here. The oliva. The oliva. Lo va rehogando. Sí. Y después ya rehogas pimiento rojo, pimiento verde. Hierbas estas también. Un poquito de aromática. Hierba aromática. Hierba aromática. Hierba aromática. Se llama también. Esto se llama dominio. Laurel. Laurel. Laurel también. Tengo, yo tengo, yo tengo. So I've decided to go for the old world version, with no tomato. It's been 50-50 on the tomato issue all day, probably meaning that it doesn't really matter. Though the last lady I spoke to was so adamant not to use tomatoes, I felt I should obey. Pieces of the leg, neck, shoulder or skirt, all fine. The kidney too, if you like, all agree on onion. Not everyone on green peppers, but certainly can't do any harm. All agree bay and garlic. Oh, and bread for serving the stew on top of, as well as for thickening the sauce. And essentially, the pimenton de la vera, Spanish Extremaduran sweet pepper powder, filling which just mild paprika powder is a great replacement thyme and rosemary if available. And this is the local Pitarra wine, a simple domestic production wine from these parts. But unless you're in the province of Cáceres, white wine is perfect. The lamb is browned in a good slug of olive oil and the bread fried, possibly with the help of some of the flavorful oil from the pot. Now remove the meat and cook the onion and peppers down in the same oil. Garlic, as generous as you like. Half a head for two people here. No need to peel, but do so if you prefer. Once soft, two or three cloves are removed from the pot, peeled, and reserved for the picada, the bread and garlic mixture that thickens the sauce. Plenty of pimenton de la vera, so typical of this region. Followed closely with the wine and all the herbs. Back in with the meat and more or less covered with water. Allow to simmer gently until meltingly tender, an hour and a half in my case, skimming all the fat and froth that rises, discarding it in the river Eljas, where it'll join the Tajo River and eventually reach the ocean at Lisbon. Ah, perfect time for that local sausage from the market with a drop of the Pitarra wine, which is actually very drinkable. Bash up the garlic and a slice of toast to form a fairly smooth paste and with just a few minutes to go, incorporate this picada into the sauce to thicken it. And finally taste and adjust the seasoning as necessary. These stews are always better the next day. Served on toast, overlooking the river Eugis. You see, properly researched and correctly executed, I just know all those consulted would approve. It's delicious. 
checkpoint. Yes, Miguel the Butcher, your lamb is the finest. Mm. Do please subscribe to keep following me on my quest for culinary authenticity in the provinces and check out this playlist for more classics from this region of Extremadura.